Good morning, sisters and brothers. I'm Dave Fillman, International Vice President and Executive Director of Council 13 in Pennsylvania. We at Council 13 owe a great deal to Jerry. Back in the 1960s, when state workers were without a union, subject to the evils of the patronage system, President McEntee dared to dream of a day when all public workers would be protected. But as you know, sisters and brothers, our president is not just a dreamer, he's a doer. From a cramped one-room office in Philadelphia, he ran the largest organizing drive in the history of the labor movement. And we won collective bargaining rights for public employees in our state. From Broad Street in Philly to main streets across the country, he has dared to dream big and win big. That his leadership goes beyond the workers, it goes into our communities. Because we are people who care about people and he will serve communities. And therefore, when he stands and fights for Social Security and all the benefits that we are enjoying, is for everybody. And that's why this union is so powerful, because it has a responsibility, and he has taught us to carry that forward. I learned a lot of important things from Jerry, and they can be summed up in three lessons. Remember where you came from, remember who got you there, and never forget who you represent. On behalf of our unions in Hawaii, we wish you, President Gerald McEntee, all the best in your retirement, and we thank you and will not forget you and all you have done for us. We wish you a fond aloha. President McEntee, I want to thank you for all that you have done for our Ask Me family in Buffalo. I want to thank you for all that you have done for our Ask Me family across this country and all you have done for the labor movement over the past 30 years. God bless you and good health to you and your family as you move to another endeavor. Thank you. On behalf of all the members of Council 94 in Rhode Island and throughout the country, we honor you and we thank you for all you've done not only for union workers, but for workers in general. Your life's been dedicated to our lives and our families. You serve the members. You talk to the members. You make the members feel good. I'm honored to be able to sit, sit, stand at this mic and to congratulate you on your retirement. May only the best come for you and your family. Thank you very much, Jerry. I've been a member of this union for over 40 years. I've seen it grow to something that I'm proud of, and I'm proud to be a member. Under your leadership, our union has become a leader in the progressive movement in this country, not only for workers, but for all our people. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you. Thank you for your fearlessness. Thank you for saying to us, we draw the line in the sand. You don't have to respect us. I want you to fear ask me when it comes to politics. Ask me, el presidente McEntee nos enseñó a luchar y hoy le entregamos y le dedicamos este triunfo. Es el mejor regalo que Puerto Rico le puede dar a McEntee. So we give the best president to McEntee is our collective bargaining agreements. President McEntee taught us how to fight and how to negotiate. And for us, the best gift we could give you is our victories in Puerto Rico. You have made a difference not only at our work site, but you've made a difference in our families, in our home life. You're not only a voice of labor, but you are a voice for the middle class, and you are a voice for our children to follow. You have brought drive and spirit to every organizing campaign, every legislative fight, and every electoral battle, from the fight for health care reform to the struggles to preserve Social Security in collective bargaining. You have never given in. You have never given up. Now, as you begin your well-earned retirement, I know that your fighting spirit will continue to inspire all AFSCME members all across this great country. I'll always appreciate the faith you showed in giving me the opportunities 
to serve our members. I will always treasure our friendship. Thank you, brother. Thank you for everything. I'm incredibly moved by, uh, by those words, and I am incredibly filled with gratitude. And uh, I could say many, many things, but I want to leave it at this. I want to thank you for your support and your friendship. You know, it's been a, uh, a privilege to stand by your side. And again, I'd like to thank each one of you for your fight and for your friendship. Thank you very much.